Okay. All right. Starting out, we got PT Ness. Uh, not sure how this matchup goes up, but uh, I imagine it's uh, not too bad for either side. Syrup off to a very strong start. From an 82 at ledge. See how he can hold his advantage here. Stock. Right as quit, I think was that a zero to death? I think that might have been a zero to death. As soon as he got in, he just took it all the way. But uh Syrup will even it right back up. Quick 50. Those PK fire combos can be so devastating. They're up there. Or tilt into grab. A lot of people like to either shield or spot dodge there. Him mopping to shield and got rid. Alright, we got Drilago joining me. Yo, yo, yo. Back. Game we, got, one, we, we got the two child prodigies. <laughs> and Drans. Get Spargo over here, that's all three. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, can't can't be comparing everybody to Sparka. <laughs> He's just on another level. I, I quick could get there. Yeah, I think quick could get there. Syrup two maybe. I haven't seen too much of him yet, so I, I unironically I think that uh Ness is like a little too linear of a character to like I, I don't know. I, I just feel like I feel like a lot of the, the like best players that are like coming up new have a lot of like weird things they can do and it's like almost like your character needs to have that flexibility for you to come up with some weird stuff. Right. I feel like you kind of know what Ness wants, you oh, know? Yeah, you switch the, I thought like you just switched the Ivy. No, okay. It's, uh, I, mean, it's not I don't know yet. what I'm talking about. He's got some little feet. Okay. That will right. do it. Oh. He's just very comfortable with the, with the two frames. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't matter who he is. It's Squirtle, Ivy, Zard. He's he's killing him there. Yeah, I mean that that that, that two frame on uh, Ness's up uh, has always been like, yeah, this this you two frame this ability like you go for it every time. Oh, definitely. Because you're not trying to keep, unless unless you're like you know a certain situation you might go off and contest it, but most of the time you're just like, now nah, I'm a two frame this. Mm -hmm. Like even Falco, I just feel like it would have been down smash up that. I feel like it would have been easier to edge guard with. Um, with Ivy, because he has the lingering nair and that giant down air to two frame if needed. Yeah, but the down air you have to like you're timing the jump to do it. This you can just watch, and as soon as you're looking at that's the character, that is true actually. Yeah, but, I, now that you put it that way, it probably is more optimal to say Squirtle. I like that. I like the coverage there because if he went to Uppy, he died, but it, but it, but it still covered uh, him air dodging it with uh, let go nair. Oh, Tomahawk grab. That was, a that was just looked really cute. And side B into up B. Quid looking super dominant so far. And back, back, back to the, the little Squirtle. It's like, pick on someone your own size, go Squirtle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Quid just playing real solid, like, scramble, like, I tap your shield, I dash back and, and like uh, evade your reaction. Like, right. He wasn't doing a lot of like true like Squirtle stuff. He was just hard pressuring your shield and being ready to evade whatever you wanted to come out of shield with. Rapid jab, no one uses. <laughs> yeah. Yo, uh, the See, parry. This kid is so yeah, it, correct. Oh, that's so good. Oh my god. Cause, cause, and the trade there. And because you know you want to mash a button there because you're looking like you, you don't want to get down or up air. And down or up air is not true, so he obviously Quid knows that. So he's sitting there like, yo, what if I just parried and then punished anyway? <laughs> right, yeah. Very good awareness. But dude, Quid is 
running a clinic, but uh, it looks like he could get something going here. Interaction here. He just has. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's what I found. That. <laughs> like inter right, interaction is eventually you die. It's like the being attacked in Corner Smash, except there's nowhere to go. Yeah. He's actually in range for that grab. He was he was on the Dude, very tip of that F tilt at least the guy. I don't know what it, the small characters in this game have gigantic grabs for no reason. Like Squirtle, Pika, Pichu. It's cute. And that will do it. Okay. It's, it's so coming to go for like I, I don't. So normally, I mean, he was high, so it's weird to to, to see what you want to do to Ivysaur there. But normally, when you know the, your Ness, you just send send the lightning, so you don't have to go for a committal option. <laughs> At least send the lightning to force an air dodge, then you can go for like a grounded option after that. But that was uh, really rough for him to try to uh, down smash there to catch a landing. It's really. I think it's probably up smash. That makes more sense. It's definitely up smash. Yeah. All right. So Syrup kind of got a train run, run on him last game. Let's see if he could uh, pull himself together and just forget about that last game. Start fresh and uh, hopefully maybe take a game. Yeah, going FD. Mix it up. PS2 clearly not working. But at the same time, you gotta ask yourself: Is it the stage, or am I just could I be playing better? No, I do like uh, taking away some of the variability that like uh, Pokemon have with having the, the platforms. I I the platform that. makes stuff like that more ambiguous. Oh. You can choose where you want to land. Oh no, he just hit me yeah. the wrong way. Yeah, he's a, clearly. I'd say he's a little bit tilted right now. That's rough. Yeah. Him off and say Ivysaur. Yeah, you know, I don't know how their mentals are, or how serious mental is, but, you know, th these two are talked about a lot as, like, prodigies. Like, yeah. you know, they're, like, on the next level below Spargo. So I, I wonder if he, like, sees, like, oh, like, I really want to win this because, like, we get compared a lot, you know? Yeah. But yeah, you, know, you can't you can't be thinking about that stuff while you play. I do think it's like uh Oh? Huh? Yeah, see that's th that's the situation I expect every single time. You put Ivysaur out there, you, you use the, the PK Thunder to to force like him to either tether again or switch Pokemon, and then you go for uh, Edgeguard after that. Mm -hmm. I mean everyone knows that you win the Pokemon trainer matchup in disadvantage. Like you need to really like Capitalize when you put this guy off stage or on on ledge. Absolutely. Down smash Ooh, is interesting. Off in there, it's very close to hitting too. Almost cut his pinky finger. So yeah, I like this. Nice. Oh, good switch. Good switch. Use the frame one option to get out. Oh my oh, god. Oh, okay. A little bit of love and quit there. That's gonna take it. This all is the first right. Time, so all right. Lead. Got some momentum going. Dude, that, that air yeah, dodge yeah, goes yellow, so yellow. far. Let me get that air dodge real quick. Please. <laughs> <laughs> oh man's air dodge is a whole airline. Actually, it's like an extra double jump. <laughs> That's interesting that he went for that. Uh, I think he would have got weak spot of the up B if he went for it, but he was hoping that he DI'd in. That's why he went for the up air. Oh, good way. Right. Let's see if we close it out. Here. Close it out with, without taking taking the game loss. Got the typical up Squirtle there, stuff, but no there. platform to make it uh, hyper extend. Oh, that was the weirdest dash up cross, <laughs> and still hitting the shield with jab from the opposite direction. <laughs> <laughs> My man Squirtle punching with his elbows. <laughs> Good dash back side B to cover that roll in. Ro rolling into Raze Leaf is rough. Oh, that should be it. I imagine so. Oh, no, he throws. Makes it back. And that will do it. Yeah, charge that back. They're going to take it. Oh, that, that was actually was really good too. on him to not. That was the fastest one to find. That one is fine. But that was very, very fast.